Hey everyone, my name is Marco and welcome to another Android home screen tutorial brought to you by My Color Screen. Today's home screen tutorial is the next version of the extremely popular Holo UI brought to you by Fluffin called Holo UI version 2. Now there are some differences about this new screen but it's still such an amazing screen. You have your pretty little leaf picture there that's got your user image as well as some notifications for messaging, weather as well as your email. And beneath that it's got very well designed icons that provide you with all your applications set for your social and utilities. And beneath that you got some very minimal design icons that'll bring up quick actions such as your phone, app drawer and your browser. So if you'd like to see how this video tutorial or how this home screen comes together, then let's check out today's video tutorial. Let us begin. Great, so starting from our stock Nova launcher, don't worry, you can still do this in pretty much any other launcher, including Apex, SS launcher, as well as all the other ones as well. So we're going to be starting with our home screen settings. We're going to hold down on the home screen. We're going to select the little wrench there to bring up our Nova settings. And from here, we're going to go into our desktop. And if we go into desktop grid, I made it a six, seven by six, but if you're having a Nexus 4, you want a six by seven. Also, if you have another screen, different grid sizes may work for you, but this seems to work quite well for my Galaxy S2. So I'm gonna go okay for here. With margin, I made it large. For the Nexus 4, you also want it to be a large, and you might just wanna play around with these depending on what phone you have. I also made height margin none. Next you want to disable everything else that you see before you here. Just remember your home screens you just want one home screen and the only things you want to enable are resize all widgets and possibly widgets overlap. Next we're going to go back, we're going to go into our dock now. You want to enable the dock and you want dock pages to be one and dock icons to be five. Works out quite well. I also enabled small icons but you can disable that just in case it doesn't work out too well. We're gonna go back now. You're gonna go into look and feel. You're gonna go into icon size. And I made my icon size a 95%, but you're welcome if you have a Nexus 4 to make it 90 or even 80. Also, you wanna go into your icon theme here. And as you can see, you wanna download and install the minimal MIUI Go Apex theme. Now it is, now you do have to pay for it, but it is very cheap and it's very worth it, especially if you wanna make more screens. So we're next, we're gonna go back, go back again. You can leave in your notification bar at the top or you can take it off, but if you take it off, there'll still be a black bar there. So if you do wanna get rid of the top one, you're gonna have to customize your wallpaper accordingly. And that's pretty much it. We're just gonna go back now and there is our home screen set up. I've already put in the dock icons, but don't worry, I'll show you how to do that later. Great, and let's move on to our wallpaper right now. Okay, so for the wallpaper, you wanna hold down on the home screen and select wallpapers and then just go into your gallery or wherever you have found it. Remember to copy it onto your phone. So there I've copied it onto my phone into this folder here. And now one thing to remember, the wallpaper that has been provided for the Nexus 4 will only fit the Nexus 4 because it's got the notification bar at the bottom. However, if you do not have a Nexus 4, you're gonna to have to do some Photoshopping in order to get those wallpapers to fit onto your phone. I know it's not ideal, but it's the only way. Now, if you have no idea on how to do it, don't worry. Click the link over here as I go through how to configure the previous version of this home screen just to set it up for your phone depending on what phone it is. So all I did for this one here is photoshopped it. I just increased the sizes of some of the spaces. Quite easy to do but like I said check the link over there if you're a bit confused on how to use Photoshop and it should help you out. So once you have got your wallpaper set up you're just going to select OK now. If you've got Nova it sets it up quite well and there we have it set up looking pretty good. If you don't like the way it is you're welcome to Photoshop it in order to get it the way you want. Great, your wallpaper is being set up. We're gonna be moving on to the UCCW skin setup. Great, now for the UCCW skins, there's just two to add. Great, so to start off adding the one over here, you're just gonna hold down on the home screen, select widgets, select UCCW, and as always, it doesn't really matter what size you choose because you can always just resize it from there, but I'm just gonna go with a four by two because that's pretty much the size you wanna go for. From here, you wanna go open use up and you wanna select Holo UI Rev 2, I've already imported it, so I just have to go yes. Great, so once it's been imported onto your phone, you just need to select the hand, and there it is right there. Now, it might not look ideal fitting for your phone. As you can see, it looks quite terrible for mine. So you just wanna select it to bring up the editor. If you're a bit confused on how to use UCCW, check out the link below. It gives you a full three-part tutorial on how to use this amazing, amazing widget or app. So we wanna go 
Now select object, because first if you want to move them up a bit, you want to go select option called common control. What this allows you to do is move up everything all at once, pretty neat. So you want to go faster movement just to get it a bit faster, they will look quite good. So we'll just check go back, see how that looks, not too bad. Now what you can keep, do is keep moving it and positioning it to get it exactly, to make it fit exactly for your phone. And now what if you don't want to have this name, well you're going to go back into the editor, you're going to go select object, you want to go static text, now you want to swipe across and you want to go into select text and you want to rename this to whatever your name is or whatever font or whatever text you want it can be anything that you choose so from here we're just going to go back so if you like it the way you want you are welcome to add in hotspots if you don't know what hotspots are remember to check out the tutorial below it tells you exactly what to do so from here we're going to go back there's mine set up looks pretty cool so next we're going to be adding in the icon here now a lot of people don't have photoshop so i'm going to give you a little quick tutorial on how to add in your user icon over here so i provided a user that you can just add here that gives up your little picture so what you want to do is hold down on the home screen ex add it exactly like how you did this uccw skin right there you want to choose a two by two works quite well and you want to just go open use it and find where you've copied the skin onto your phone but I've already imported it, so I'll just find it here. Just want to select the icon, and you want to drag it pretty much where you want it. Doesn't really matter. There, it looks quite good. But what if you don't want my pretty face right there? You want to select it now, and this gives you the option to change this. All I've simply done is added in a shape and an image, and the shape I used, you might want to take note of this, is if you go into style, I selected a hollow oval, and then went on to special effects and made it a see-through effect, and then made the width and height and thickness according to how this is, and it cuts off the image around. So all you have to do now is go select object, image one, you want to go select the image now, and change it to an image that you prefer. Once you have it, make sure it's quite tiny though, you might have to resize this icon on your computer and get it back onto your phone or even just use a the photo editor app in order to get it a good size as UCCW, as UCCW doesn't really like large images. Now you just want to change the scale a bit, see how that looks and now all you have to do is go back to, to your shape one and see how it'll look. Pretty cool. Now you just want to save that and next you just want to go into your options, hotspots mode and turn it on. Remember that if you don't want to complain about it having to open up UCCW every time you bump your screen. So if you just select on, it'll enable it. So now when you touch it, nothing happens unless you've assigned it a hotspot. Now, if you're using a Nexus 4, these two icons here just need to be dragged in and change the icon accordingly. But if you do not have one, like I have my Galaxy S2 here, I just created a simple UCCW skin and added those two on and added hotspots for those for my search and for my setting. Don't worry, I'll also provide this skin as well. Great, so once all your UCCW skins have been set, set up, we're going to be moving on to the icons. Great, so for the icons, we're going to be starting off with the, the dock at the bottom. Now, now you can see what I've done here is just removed two just to show you how to add them as these adding the rest is pretty much exactly the same. So let's start off with our app drawer. You want to hold down on the home screen, select your Nova settings, and then app drawer, and your app drawer will now appear. Now you want to change this icon to the one that has, like the icon that has been shown in the home screen. So you want to go edit, select the icon. Next, you want to go into files. You can use gallery, but then it does it wants to do this funny crop thing. I don't really like that. So you want to go into either your file folder, your gallery, or even use your quick pick. But remember to copy the Holo UI Rev2 folder onto your phone, just so it comes with the icons that you'll need for this process. So you want to select or find the folder where you've copied it. You want to go into icons. Let's go into dock and then you want to select the app draw icon. As you can see the rest will there provided for you. Now you just want to go OK and there it is. Now a little trick here, sometimes these icons tend to disappear when you put them straight. So what I like did and worked quite well is you drag it down as far as you can go and it kind of jumps into the dock. So we'll do it again now for our phone. A quick way of just doing this is just selecting your app drawer. Let's say you want to make it your phone now. We're just going to select it now, drag it onto your home screen, and then edit accordingly. You're just going to do it exactly the same way. So to do that again, we just want to see. All I did was swipe it down to the bottom of the page, and it puts the phone in there, and it doesn't not disappear. Great. So once all your dock icons have been 
put into place, we want to add in all these application icons here. So to do that, what's great with Nova, if we hold down on the home screen, select apps. Now you get the option to choose all of them from here. It's the same as just going into the app drawer. But here you can now say select multiple and select any of these that you would want. Go for Dropbox, say that, File Explorer and Facebook. Now you can just go add and it adds them all in the top corner. And now all you have to do is drag them just like this. You're welcome to use desktop visualizer if they don't fit as well, but you need to have a good grid size in order to not have these cropped out at all. So you want to do this for the social as well as for the utilities. And remember, if they don't fit well at all and you've tried all the grid sizes, you're going to have to do some photoshopping in order to get this looking good. Don't worry, I will provide this wallpaper for the S2 so the S2 fans can breathe a bit. Now finally, if you want to add in the, like I said earlier, if you've got a Nexus 4, you can just drag those little icons there for your search and for your settings. Just doing exactly the same here except changing those two. But due to my limitations for this phone, I had to use a UCCW skin, which I'll also provide in the link below. And then just assign those hotspots accordingly. And then we have our home screen complete. Thank you very much guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the My Color Screen channel, as well as check out our Facebook, Google Plus and Twitter communities. We also have a new forum that's continually growing. So if you have any questions, please leave them there as myself, as, as well as the My Color Screen community will be able to help you out a lot better. Thank you very much guys for watching. This is Marco from My Color Screen and don't stop customizing. Mm -hmm.